Events like these haven't been seen in the Gaza Strip for years. The coastal enclave has suffered during decades of repeated rounds of conflict with Israel and 15 years of blockade. And along with a poor economy and the pandemic, people's lives have deteriorated. But now, many are again filling hotels and cafes, offering a summer of artistic events. These artistic concerts, even if only a few, entertain the people of the besieged Gaza Strip, and therefore they reflect the side that is full of love of life, peace and joy, that characterizes the people of Gaza, despite all the tragedies they're exposed to. Despite being home to some of the world's oldest musical traditions, like the Dabka Arab folk dance, Palestinian musicians from classical to rappers have struggled for years to have their voices heard beyond the Strip. Raouf al-Balbaisi holds a degree in multimedia but chose a career in music. He's refining his talent for singing and has learned to play the piano, guitar and oud. For now, his singing is welcome relief for many here in Gaza. We like to attend such musical events because they bring us joy and relaxation. Despite all the wars we've lived in and all the problems that we live with, we still deserve to be happy and enjoy life. Due to travel restrictions, Bilbasi has been unable to take part in several international music festivals. But he's now performing at weddings and birthday parties in local hotels and is hoping to one day go on a tour abroad. I was accepted in several famous Arab singing competitions, but I never made it to the auditions because of the blockade and the closure of the crossings, which prevented me from making my dreams come true. The owners of hotels have come to see artistic evenings as an economic lifeline. People in Gaza are trying to get their minds off their daily struggle through some of the artistic and musical summer events. But as the Israeli-imposed restrictions affect every aspect of life in here, there is always too little for them to enjoy. You may see it, Al Jazeera, Gaza.